Hi everyone, and today I'm going to be filming a video discussing diversity in the Tourette's and Dream community. Because when it comes to Tourette's, there is no one size fits all, because we're all affected very differently and we're all very different individuals. So the first thing is the symptom diversity, because of course we all have different tics and we it's sort of like a pick and mix of symptoms because some of us have sensory issues, some of us have rage attacks, some of us have anxiety and it comes all in like that. And the same with the co-occurring conditions. Um, approximately 85% of people with Tourette's are said to have a, another co-occurring condition and these can include ADHD, OCD, a mental health difficulty, autism, a, a specific learning difficulty and it's different for everyone so we all get a different mix. So for me um, I have Tourette's OCD and I'm also said to be autistic so everyone gets a different mix of that as well and even the same symptom can be experienced differently by different people. So for me my rage attacks are mainly anger based. They're still completely involuntary but anger is a symptom of it. Whereas some people actually find that the rage attacks feel more tick-like with the urge before it and stuff like that. So even symptoms we can experience differently. So in tick attacks some people might be able to talk and some people might not be able to talk. So there's diversity within diversities. And even the management of the condition, the reason why there's no one medication that people with Tourette's can go on that can help is because we all react very differently. For me, I found Risperidone helpful for a while. I'm off it now, but I was on it for four years and it was okay. I did have a few side effects, but it was the best option at the time. Whereas some people might find a better effect from a different medication. Um, and we also have different tick triggers as well. For me, it's mainly dietary, dairy, and I also had photosensitivity, which is the sensitivity to fluorescent lights, but other people might be more triggered by emotional states such as stress and anxiety and some people may have different trigger foods like gluten or sugar and other people might have different sensory triggers as well like loud noises. So it's completely individual which is why finding your tick triggers can take some time but it is completely worth it. And people also have different responses to therapies like CBIT. For me, um, the suppression element makes me so so much worse as it triggers rage attacks later on but some people find that the redirection element can actually help them and help them manage ticks to avoid them from hindering their ability to do everyday things. And because of all of this diversity and there are so many different factors to take into consideration you can't really make assumptions when it comes to Tourette's. Because Tourette's is a spectrum condition, meaning that it ranges from mild to severe and anywhere in between, and that also changes as well because it waxes and wanes depending on the triggers, but you can't make assumptions because the spectrum is usually viewed very linear, but it's actually more of a circle because the rage attacks could be very severe, but your tics might not affect you much, but you might be very anxious, and that can always change as well, and it's different for everyone. And this is why when you're around someone with Tourette's, you talk to the individual and find out how it affects them. And if you're a teacher, then you talk to the individual and their families and see that it actually affects everyone so very differently. Because you could have um, two students with Tourette's in the school, but they could be affected completely differently and it could have a completely different impact. Therefore, they would need different accommodations and modifications to suit them as an individual, because there is no one size fits all. And I think it's really important to know this because um, you can't expect to meet someone with Tourette's and have the and like have the same tics or something because I know that for example some of us have coprolalia which is the um, uncontrollable swearing or yelling inappropriate comments and again that is completely involuntary and I used to have that quite a lot but not everybody has that so you can't make assumptions because we're all very different and we will all need very individualized specific support and we also have different triggers so you have to find out by talking to us and getting to know us and seeing what might affect us more. Um, so I think it's really important to say this so that schools can find the support for a specific student and so that people don't get confused and assume that everyone's threats the same because we're not. So thank you for watching, I hope you liked it, bye!